going to do some upgrades with the old uh, computer and some hash freaking tagages there this morning in the office downstairs all day because it's kind of a crappy damp day out, but uh, something else come up and did. Let's see what we can get into with Life with Bilsif's YouTube channel. Welcome to Life with Bilsif. I'm your host, Bilsif. I gotta go to my mom's real quick and help her hook up a smart TV. I was going to just hang out today, like I said at the beginning there. Things change. So we'll grab ourselves a coffee and I'll take you along for the ride. Yesterday's ride along video seemed to get quite a few views it did. So that's kind of odd. So let's, what the hell, let's try another driving around video see what we can't see and see what we can't find and this and that and the other freaking thing. We gotta get some heat into this truck because it's freaking cold in here. So hopefully it warms up quick and we'll go from there. This is such a dangerous freaking corner, man. They need to put lights here or something. Just cocked over. On goes the mouth to go in the old food landage. Cover up that mouth, hey? You got a dirty mouth. Put that freaking bra on it before you scare someone away. What are you doing? These earmuffs. Frig. What happened? Who's this? Is this Kurt? Dennis. Hey Siri. Dennis. Or slide. Hey Siri. Call Dennis. Or I don't see a Dennis Dallas Andrew. That's because you're a like stupid call. bitch. Hey Siri, do you suck cock? Yes, I do. I won't respond to that. I know you won't because you know you do, you dirty little dirty. Remember everybody, don't text and drive, okay? Hello. Where are you going? Oh, just over to see the kiddo. Oh, okay. Where are you going? Oh, do you see me pass you? No. You're daydreaming? Where are you going? Yeah, I was, yeah. I'm just going to Tim Hortons and I gotta go buy my mom's hook up a TV. Oh, you're going, then you're going into town? Yeah. Okay, then I won't pop by your house after here then. There you go. Why, is she not home again? <laughs> I won't be home, Denny. Yeah, I know that now. I'll still be in the Tim Hortons drive through by the time you're done visiting with your daughter. Anybody looks at this place. Want to say hi to anybody? Who? I don't know. Do you want to say hi to anybody on the internet? <laughs> Do I? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, send me a picture of that shit. I want to see it. Hello? What you hang up on me for? <laughs> huh? I didn't mean to. I was going to go send you a message. All right, Daddy. We'll talk to you later. Okay, I'll send you a picture, bud. Okay, thanks. Oh, Dennis. How you doing, bud? Who's behind me? Some fucking droney. Oh yeah, it's spitting everywhere. What the hell? Are you a spitter? Leave a comment down below and let me know. I don't understand why people spit, I really don't. It's kind of gross. Captain? But hey, it is what it is. Maybe you got a little bit of cum left in your mouth from last night and you had to get rid of her. Dirty little dirty. Yeah, that's my new favorite word, dirty little dirty. Tim Hortons people, loading up, getting their stock for the week, or the day, I should say. Dark roast, enjoy the rich, smooth, full flavor. Well. I would if this drive through was moving. This lady in front of me thinking I've gone nuts because I'm talking to myself. She's looking at me in the mirror with her big old lady sunglasses. Ah, oh, Jason, how you doing? Buddy's cold. He's got the chill factor going on. It's kind of snowing and raining. It's like a little bit of both right now. Should have got a coffee from town. This is ridiculous. Oh, he's got a little Santa Claus on the, on the old uh, grill ski. Hey, can I have a large two cream, three sugar? Three cream, two sugar? Two cream, three sugar. Guaranteed, this Tim Hortons is gonna cock my order up. They always do. That's why I asked for three sugar, because normally they don't put any in it. So let's see how friggin' kicking this coffee is. I should get a free beverage out of this one, eh? Let's do a free beverage. I want a beverage. I want a brood. Ah. There we go. This one's on the house, it is. I ain't giving them dicks. I could actually get a free coffee for 10 days. But I don't go to Tim Hortons much anymore, so... The boys at work get Tim Hortons in the afternoon. That's the only time I really get a Tim Hortons coffee. Other than that, she's a homebrew all day. Leave a comment down below if you have your homebrew all day, too. Actually, I want to know that. If you take a homebrew in the morning, it lasts you all day, like me, leave your comment down below. Or three quarters of the day, anyway. I really want to know. Don't forget to subscribe, like, hit the notification bell bar button, too. Why wouldn't you? Don't forget to check out the merch. My cost is a little bit lower than yours, though. Not much, though. Trust me. Still a rip off, but hey, if you like life of bills, that's what you got to do. Thanks. Yeah, you too. It's something moving around back there. Oh, so here's something for you. Yesterday we went, as you seen on my Facebook. If you looked at my Facebook, 
we I put Christmas lights on the truck for the drive through Santa Claus parade last night, and I didn't record a goddamn thing. But I do know that the uh, the old power converter there worked great for Christmas lights. The only other thing is, though, the damn camera gets all cocked over. It's got little wounds through it when that thing's on. Oh, it's snowing that way again. You can see it. Look, take a look. Manual recording will now start. Why wouldn't you? There you go. Have an eye. Thank God I got an extra sugar in that coffee because it sucks. What is wrong with the Tim Hortons in Wyoming? Can they not make a decent coffee? Holy. 4,700 subscribers this morning, by the way. Thank you very much, everybody. Appreciate it. Welcome to all you new subscribers. Love y'all. Glad you're here. Hopefully you stick around. This channel is all over the damn place. Christmas is just around the corner, so we're all about ready to get broker than dicks. All your money's gone. Friggin' right, it's gone. Let me know if you spend a lot of money at Christmas or you just do the little things. Brian, my buddy there, he's telling me yesterday that his wish list was, I don't know, almost $3,000 worth of stuff. You know what I expect? I expect a dinner with a family, which ain't gonna happen this year because of Cronus. So, that's all I expect for Christmas. I'm not asking for nothing for Christmas. I normally get a little stocking with some deodorant and stuff. That's all I need. <laughs> She's definitely still in Kamlaki area, see? What are you doing, Caleb? Is that you up there or is that Grandpa? Dad. Looks like Dad does. I don't think he's going to be in that house by Christmas. Just saying. Holy crap, man. The sun's out and it's friggin' snowing over there. They're coming in at an angle of a dangle. So as we go that way, yeah. It's snowing in Sarnia. What the frig is really going on? That motorhome was sitting there with no goddamn windows in it. Hey, I met somebody the other day that lives out this way. Right across the fire hall. So that's probably his house right there. I can see his vehicular. It's big. No, El Dico. I know you're kind of bummed about that, Mr. Info, no dicko, but hey, it is what it is. But, figuring out what it is. I see how you swing. I see your videos. Just cocked over is what you are. Thank God I'm not as cocked over as some people in this world, I tell you. More houses going up over there. And I'm telling you, the houses keep just going up and up and up. And I don't know if it's the same in your area or what it is, but, uh, man, I tell you. We're growing, we are. See, everybody's moving out of townhouses and leaving them for the new Canadians until they get established, and then the new Canadians get established, and then they buy new houses, and then the newer Canadians move into those townhouses, and then they get established, and that's how it freaking works. Leave your comments down below if you agree. Why wouldn't you? Holy crap, man. Where is this snow coming from, Jim? Look. Have a holy jolly Christmas. Oh, no, wait a minute. Well, the weather outside is frightful, but you are with the Bilsa. So it doesn't matter where we go, let us know, let us know, let us know. Freaking right. Old Lakeshore Road closed still. We want to take you along the lake, but remember back there a year ago or so, I told you that the lake, the waves wrecked the, the road? Yeah, they're still fixing that. We should go down and see what company they got in there because they're fired. Oh, lay. Bah. Bah. Caramel. Pardon me. Sorry, 75,000 people, if you want to know. There you go. But that's wrong because it said 75,000 people for the last 10 years. It's more like 85,000 people. Update your sign, Sarnia. Remember Mike Bradley took a picture of my truck yesterday at the backside, and you've probably seen Life with Bill, so then probably quit it. We've already drove out of the snow. Oh, nice jacket, buddy. Where'd you get that from? Princess Auto? Goodwill? Nice jacket, buddy. Where'd you get that from? Tattoos are us? Freak. Oh, dirty old f***ing jacked up Dodge. What's really going on? Oh, dirty old jacked up Silverado. They must have came from Alberta's. Some places that's illegal now, eh, to modify your truck like that. Quebec, California, yeah. Can't put oversized tires on it. Actually, technically, by law, you can't change the size of your tires on your truck in Ontario. If you look at the fine print, it says, cannot modify tire size on your vehicle. Has to be what's on the door. So if a cop wanted to be a real dick, he could actually ticket you for big tires. If you get pulled over for big tires, and you say, there's no law against that. Yeah, there is. Look it up. Mothers against drunk drivers. Hey, eh? that's what Matt stands for. I don't know why it's mothers. It's kind of freaking sexist, don't you think? Mothers against drunk driving? What about dads? Can't be dads against drunk driving? Just mothers? Frig. This is 2020, you know. I wonder where Jamie is today. I'm, I'm thinking about Jamie right now. I bet he's out for a drive right now. If you're wondering, I'm just letting the camera roll. I'm going to stop by my mom's on the way back from a drive. I'm going to do my drive first. It's 2 o'clock. And then I'm going to do the rest. Have the fun and then do the work. Should have brought the old Panasonic camera. Yeah, it's good for a little zoom action. These cameras don't zoom. 
Hey, Trav, I'm going to go right by your house today. It's Sunday. And I said I was putting up my Christmas tree today. But the wife and the kid took off, so that's postponed. So I'm going to drive by your house anyways. But I'm still not going to pick up the cherry picker today. Because I don't feel like it. And I've got a fridge, a chair. I forget a bunch of stuff in the back of the truck that I got unloaded. Remind me of that when I get home. I'm going to get cocked over. I'm going to stop somewhere to grab something not have any room for it. Bell Telephone must pay pretty good. That guy back there lives on Lake Street. He works for Bell Telephone. His wife must be uh, a doctor or a lawyer or something. I'm not a doctor. Well, maybe. TJ at his old man's. Hi, TJ. What's going on, bud? No. You're not there, bud. Get over there and bring your dad breakfast. Why wouldn't you? I guess you can't really go and have breakfast with your dad. It's like 2 o'clock in the afternoon, bud. You're probably thinking, watch this video. I already did that, dude. Like, what the hell you been doing? Oh, so we put up Christmas lights. Get her done. Oh, check out that friggin' fireplace. Manual recording will now I don't know if you can see that or not. That's friggin' awesome. Look. Look at that. Ah, it's friggin' decent. This guy's building like a brick fireplace wall, too. Are they related? Holy. Check that out. That's friggin' awesome. Decent. Friggin' right is decent. Buddy's right in the middle of the damn road here. Where are you going, dude? You're on the wrong side of the road there, Captain. What happened? What do we got? Ooh, the old Lake Aruski is rough today. Aw. Aw. There you are. Little kizzy kizzy on the hill ski. Hey, little camera action. What it is to be in love. Hey, babe? We don't have that anymore, do we? Frig no, we get up. How you doing? Goodbye. See you later. No sex for years. Why would we? Terrible. Do people write slow down for these speed bumps? Not me. How you doing? They're not a bad speed bump to actually go over. The dash cam don't like them though. Decent. Oh, there goes my fridge jumping up and down the back. Sometimes you gotta give your shocks a little bit of a workout you do. Hey, eh? It's not good for them to stay in the same position. Decent. That actually feels good on the back. Why are you stuck out so far? I gotta get a new jacket too. I wrecked my jacket. My favorite jacket my dad gave me, I wrecked it from work. Thanks a lot, Go Glass of Accessories. Why wouldn't you? It's just all cocked right over. I think I'm gonna get a black one the same. You ever have a jacket or a sweater that you fall in love with and you never want it to go away and finally one day it goes away and then you miss it and you're thinking, I wish you could get another one you can't because no one makes them. Steve, you know what I'm talking about, eh? If you're watching this video. Our favorite sweaters. You still have yours. Mine disappeared. I have no idea where it went. I had blue and left, and that's it. And this guy was just going to walk right out in front of traffic because you're on your phone just being a special person. What's really going on? Buddy in the RAV4, get out of my way. Thank you. Why wouldn't you? Watch, listen. Hear that? Every once in a while, it's good to turn your tire just to take the edge off of it. What's really going on? Those people had a freaking lamp. Leg lamp in the friggin' front porch. Oh, ship going through. Figure right there is. Big bugger, too. He's just giving her. The smoke's just puffing out of that bastard. Look at that thing puffing the old white out of her. Oh, look. What's really going on? Huh? That's freaking decent, though. Why is he so close to the shore here? What is going on, buddy? That would have been a good one, too, because he's so close to this side. Man, oh, man. That thing is puffing some white smoke. Holy. Well, I'm sitting down here waiting for a ship to do for my next video. Or maybe the video after that video. But I'm just waiting for an update to finish on the old Maverick Air 2. And while I'm doing this, I noticed that the old Maverick Air 2 just did an update for the remote. If you have yourself a Maverick Mini 2, you can use the remote for both aircraft. So if you buy yourself a Mini 2, you can put that other remote away for a rainy day. In case you need a new remote someday. Because I cocked over this one. This one's got a little bit of a broke wiggle waggle on it i don't know what i did there but it still flies okay and this side of the other thing so i'm not worried about it but i think that's what i'm gonna ask for just after christmas is myself a new maverick mini and i'm gonna sell the maverick mini i have so actually that's what i'm gonna do this afternoon i'm going to sell my maverick mini i'd rather have a drone that i can use both remotes with to be honest with you the maverick mini is a great little machine it really is but the new maverick mini 2 will use the same remote the aircraft keeps shutting off turn on because it's taking updates yeah, you did. Hey, you say thank you. I feel better now. It's like having a blowjob. You always feel better after a blowjob, so the, the drone must feel better after an update. I feel like I got a little bit of pressure coming on myself. I might need to take a dump or something. Maybe a pee anyway. 
I'll have to see. The casino's open now. I'm surprised they haven't come here and gave me shit. I did move, by the way, if you're wondering. 80 on the percenti. How you doing? Hey, there's a buddy with a helmet. Jeez, he's biking all over the place today. Wifey Pooh and Mel and her friend went out to get a sun catcher today. They did? They bought one off the internet. That'd be kind of neat to see. I like them sun catchers. They're pretty neat there. Come on, let's update for God's sakes. DJI, just question for you. Why can't you order a Maverick Mini aircraft only? Why do you have to order all the other stuff? Like, I just want aircraft and batteries. That's it. Especially now that you have this update. Still at 88. You better hurry up or I'm going to abort you. So the Maverick Mini's on sale right now for $100 or $609 Canadian for the Fly More package, which I have. So leave your comments down below if you want to buy mine. I'll give it to you for $450. It's never been crashed, that one. If you're in my area and you want to buy a Maverick Mini, I'll give you a good deal. $450 and you can have it. It's $609 on sale right now at Best Buy. I'm no tax too, by the way. So $450 cash and she's yours. So leave a comment down below and let me know. Looks like we're almost ready to go, Jim. She's just finalizing right now. You better fucking hurry up and finalize. We're gonna talk right over. Just so everybody knows, as you can see on the map here, there's no non-flying zone here. It's just where the aircraft is. You cannot fly. But here, there's no restrictions of flying. Over here there is, but there's nothing here. You don't wanna fly over the bridges. You can, aircraft do it all the time. But you just gotta be careful. But there's no restrictions to non-flying here, just so you know. So for anybody that says you can't do it here, I don't really care. Okay, there you go. Another thing I suggest, if you have a Maverick Air 2, like I do, open the damn wings up before you take off, because if you don't, they friggin' vibrate everywhere, and it's a good way to, for them to wobble themselves off of a surface, because that's happened to me a few times now. So if you just take a minute there and open the wings up, they take off a little bit smoother, they do, because the wings do straighten themselves out, but I find if you straighten them out for it, it lights you a little better. Maybe it's not so unhappy. Oh, we got mom all fixed up, all rucoed up with the old TV there. But it's already getting dark out, for God's sakes. It's only friggin' 3.30. Oh, that lady looks cooler than Dick standing there waiting for the bus. Oh, get your mask on. Hurry up. Can't get in the bus, dude. Get your mask on, lady. Frig. So I'm going to head home here and do some editing, probably. Maybe. Or I might just talk to you some more. Hallelujah. How you doing? How you doing, little guy? You need a booster seat. Captain, probably kick the shit right out of me, those little stocky buggers, eh? Tougher than nails they are. Can't believe tomorrow's Monday already. What's really going on? We need to switch to 10 hour shifts so we don't have this working five day a week thing. Should be working four days a week. Three off, four on. In a perfect world, we'd be, pull your pants up, Jim. In a perfect world, we'd be more off, less on. But hey, tis what it is, it is. But hopefully everybody's having a good weekend like I am. I didn't really do a whole lot of much this weekend, which was kind of nice. I did keep steady, but I didn't do much. Does that make sense? I sure hope so. But I hope you did the same. I hope everybody's staying safe. I hope you're getting their Christmas shopping done before you get all cocked over and it's too late. And this, that, and the other thing. Hopefully nobody's sick. Love you all. Don't forget to check out the merch. Subscribe, like, hit that notification bell bar button. Why wouldn't you? Until next time. Oh, tiny house back there. You know what to do for now. Thank you.